I've been coming to the same party for nine years, the t-shirt party. Yeah, uh, it changed my life, you could say that. She came in and she wasn't wearing like a real t-shirt. It was just I like- I had no idea what I was thinking. Great really t-shirt. Yeah. The previous, I don't know, 10 or 20 years, I had this like gaping hole in my life and I felt like, you know what? Maybe this t-shirt party could fill that hole. Didn't go to the first few, but definitely heard a lot of buildup about it. T-shirt party 2015 changed the course of my life. I mean, 2008 was a pretty great year to begin with. Flow Rider and T-Pain were at the top of the charts getting low. Sean Kingston was still relevant and Taylor Swift was a country artist. And uh, I was probably bench pressing like 250 at the time, don't you think? <laughs> so I quit my job and I started a t-shirt business. We don't really have an online presence or use social media. We go to parties together, sometimes get weird looks. We um, sometimes go to barbecues together. We don't go hunting together. But is a trigger for her. That night I, I couldn't take my eyes off of Danny Langley, not just because of that beautiful physique of his, but because of who was on his t-shirt. Taylor Swift. It was like she was looking into my soul. I, I said, Rachel, you're her. She's you. You're so similar. <laughs> I mean, I don't play guitar or sing. I sell lots of t-shirts out of the trunk of my car. I noticed there was one other person with the same solo cup and the same scotch. So crazy that we had the same parents. We found out we had the same parents. That too. That's what's crazy. And we are actually twins. twins. Yes. I, all, both years here, I've never come across any family. You've probably seen the t-shirt gun at stadiums. Well, I actually purchased a t-shirt gun and I take them to events with large crowds and I shoot t-shirts at people. I've begun selling them off of my back. I'll typically include a discount if I've been sweating. I think it was it was actually the first year I came. Um, it, is it kind of weird? The founder actually tried to sell me his shirt for 25 bucks or something like that. And I, I kind of felt like it was a conflict of interest because it was like he was throwing the party and I was supposed to buy the shirt. And I, I don't know, it just something didn't seem right about it. And after that I dove in. I just dove in. I, I started working part-time and I uh, was taking guitar lessons from, from the YouTube. Uh, I never go anywhere without my red lipstick. And uh, I started a GoFundMe account in hopes to raise enough money to get uh, dental veneers tooth for tooth, just like David. This year, I'm really hoping that at the t-shirt party I can find another friend. I mean, for Penelope, that is not for me. I have one friend already. I don't need another. And because of the t-shirt party, I've discovered so many things about myself I didn't even really know, you know, that I liked. Yeah, until we met each other. Right, like pumpkin spice lattes. Flannel and the epic, epic German, German operas. Opera. Uh, Ring cycle. So good. Favorite holiday? Christmas, Christmas right? You know, favorite coffee shop? Starbucks. Starbucks. I mean, come on. I mean, favorite <laughs> animal? Dogs. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it just it just keeps going like this. I mean, the turnout was good. There were, there were a good amount of people. People brought like food and drinks. So that was cool, didn't have to pay for dinner that night. I actually, back when I was more into Facebook, I got some friend requests from it afterwards. So that was kind of cool. I didn't put a whole lot of work into my t-shirt. So maybe I think that's part of the reason like my experience hasn't maybe been as good as some of the other people. But honestly, I, I was hoping I'd kind of win a contest. I didn't stay long enough to know if they actually did a contest, but if they did, they didn't email me about it afterwards. Don't go to the party expecting to get a lot of compliments. I just realized, I don't know if female elephants have tusks, so maybe I've been wrong about Penelope Sarabas this whole time. Here's a little, little treat for you. <clears throat> nope. Next thing you know, we're dating, engaged, married, made a baby. That t-shirt party changed our life, didn't it? So am I living the American dream? Well, let's just put it this way. If selling t-shirts ever becomes a competitive sport, I know one guy who won't be kneeling during the national anthem. 2015, I found my song. 2016. And I think for this year, I'm going to probably get there a bit early. I'm going to probably leave early too. 
Hey, who knows though? Maybe, maybe I'll stick around for the award ceremony. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll medal. T-shirt party. It's gonna be great. You should be there, October twenty second. Not right the moment.